Now, as we have already construction data for underflow heating prepared, we may insert the underflow radiators into our design. There are two ways to do that. The manual method and the automatic one. Let me show you first the manual method. So I can select the underflow radiator tool and I can just click the corners and I can draw a polygon. When I wish to finish, I will click the right mouse button. And this is my first field. And now I can insert another one. Here I can already predict and leave some space for the connection pipes for the first radiator. And again the right mouse key. And if we select, let's press escape, I'm again in the selection mode. And if I select both radiators, you can see in the table beneath that the program have chosen the construction symbol ceramic, because this is the default symbol. We have defined that the program by default can accept the ceramic. But this is the living room, let's say we wish to have the marble. So I can pull down this field and can select that this would be marble construction and I can drag it also to the second field so both of them are marble. So this was the manual method, now the automatic one. Let's press Ctrl R to see the whole story and let's say that you would like to insert the underflow radiators into all other rooms and we would use this third function with lightning. So first we have to select which rooms we wish to have the underflow radiators in. So we have to select the rooms, but to do that we have to switch into the room zones mode. And now let's press Ctrl A. So we have selected all possible rooms and now holding the shift key, let's unselect this first one, this that we have already inserted the underflow radiators before. So now we have selected the rooms that we wish to have more radiators inserted. And now we just have to click this third lightning button. And as you see, now we have the underflow radiators in all the rooms.